Hi guys, today we're going to be doing this gold texture thing. I'm going to do one method completely internal to DaVinci Resolve. I'm going to do one semi-internal to DaVinci Resolve. The other third one, I wouldn't even bother because there are videos already online that show you how to bring in an ATRI map and uh, map it onto a 3D object. You can search for them. I'm going to put one or two links below for you to see how that is done. Let's get to it. Let's go to the Fusion page. Let's bring in a text 3D node. Automatically, a media out node is also put in place. Click on the text 3D node under Inspector. Let's type um, gold. Change the font to null shock. You can use any font you want. I just kind of like this null shock one. This one. Let's go to Extrusion. Set the Extrusion depth to 0.15, the bevel depth to maybe 0.02, the bevel width to maybe 0.02. Let's see how that looks. Uh, not so bad. Let's click on this here to let us see how it looks in 3D look. To this edges, I want to smoothen it out. So I go to custom, select this two points, press F on the keyboard, drag this point to this edge here, drag this one to this edge here, and now we have something rounded. Done for the text. To apply the gold texture, click on text 3D, shift space bar, bring in the replace material 3D load, add it. Now to get the texture, we go to effects, under effects, open templates, under fusion, go to shaders, then look for gold bump. Uh, let's see something here. If I connect this directly to here, or we'll drag this here, you'll see this. This is not exactly what we want. So what we're going to do is this. We're going to do some surgery on this gold pump node. You see it's a group node. So double click on it to expand. So all you need to do is select all these rectangles down to this transform, down to this blur, Delete all of them. Close that. And bam, you have the gold texture. If you don't like the color, go in there, change the color as much as you want. Okay. And there it is. You have gold. You can bring in the renderer 3D node. Connect this to the renderer 3D node. Like that. In here, you have the gold texture. Let's assume I move this back. Between here, I bring in a transform 3D node, this node here, add it. So if we move this node around, we see reflective gold texture. We can do a little thing too. If you open, if you click on this gold bulb, you see all this here. You can click on this face on strengths and increase it. It turns to silver, but it becomes shinier. We can now bring in a color corrector node then click on this and drag it towards the orange part, orange gold looking part. Drag this color corrector to the viewer. So we have gold. So you can change the color however you want. And there it is, gold. If you click on this transform, you can see around the sea. It's shiny and it's gold. Now onto the semi external one. In Reactor, I go to workspace scripts. If you have Reactor installed, you see Reactor on here and you open it. Within Reactor, there are a bunch of scripts called kick ass shaders. You can just type KAS and download the gold texture. I have that already installed. Shift space bar and I type gold. You see KAS kick ass shader gold. If I add that, I can just connect that to the replace material. And then we have this gold. Let's drag the surrender right here. So you have the gold here. We have this correct in that. The flavor of the gold from kick ass shader needs to, we may need to do a bit of surgery on it to get it to look exactly like this gold bump does. So I'd say go with the internal one. It's pretty straightforward. You don't have to do any other adjustments, but you can actually make this one to look like this a little bit, but um, I prefer this internal one. So that's it guys. Just a quick, short, sharp, easy, simple one. Hope you learned one or two things on this one. Have a nice one.
See you on the next one. Cheers.